I promise you that in today's video I will finally show you my My Teresa order. Good morning guys and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Maybe did I wear this turtleneck yesterday as well? Yeah, but it doesn't matter because you have ten. <laughs> That's kind of true. Today though, I'm gonna wear... Well, you guys have to understand also that I've been traveling for... You know how long I've been traveling now for? Three weeks or more with two suitcases and mostly summer clothes that I brought for Miami and LA. Which is a little bit challenging, but I think in the meanwhile I managed to get a lot of also new things in. And on top of that, I also have my, my Teresa order that I'm going to show you today because I waited for it for you guys. But also today I'm gonna wear my new shoes. I'm so excited because actually I've been missing like a pair of sneakers. I, I only had the Jordans, but I think these work really much better with the baggy jeans. They're so amazing. Let's put them on now. Here we go. Obviously they've never been worn, so that's why they're up here. But how cool are these shoes? I love them. Let me turn it around like this. Do you think I should remove the orange thing in front? No, maybe that's the cool part of it. <laughs> you think? Yeah. You think I shouldn't remove it? No. I mean, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, I trust you. If you want to remove it... Then... I have one thing to announce. If you don't hurry up, yes. I'm going to become very not a manageable person because you know how much I need coffee in the morning. Maybe I am ready. So let's go then. Be a little bit red because there's a lot of heaters here. We're at Adel Cost and gonna have the brunch of day. Let's see what I'll choose because we ate dinner here also two nights ago. say something so guys we are at lunch with our friends Rebe and Mose from Mexico and they're finally here and I'm so happy you guys are here because we met you in Capri by coincidence on the street and now we're friends and they're here in Paris. We love you. Yeah, I love yeah, you guys. No and we met thanks to basically YouTube. No? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well welcome back. This video is kind of this morning. What did you do this morning? So this morning we went to have coffee, then we met up with Xenia and Jorgen because last night when they were having pizza here, they left some of their stuff, so we gave it to them. Um, had a little chat about our New Year's Eve plans because they're very important. I'm sorry, like I don't even know if I properly show you my hair color and I really love it. Like sometimes I just catch it in the mirror and I'm like, wow, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy because it's been, it's been more than six months since I dyed my hair full like thing and I think it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So anyway, that's my opinion. <laughs> Hope you guys agree. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm bragging or something like that. Anyway, the point is, I promise you that in today's video I will finally show you my My Teresa order. You guys know how much I love shopping on My Teresa because I think they have like incredible selection. Incredible. Like their selection is just so good. And I went there to get one thing that I couldn't find anywhere else, only on My Teresa. So I went to get it there and ended up filling my basket with so many items. Where is my... I don't know. Like, I think like 10 items or so. You also guys know that I've been working with my Teresa for a very long time now. I believe like more than three years. It's my ongoing partner. I love them so much and can't wait to show you what I got. Are you ready? So the item that I went to get, already opened like most of it because I was so excited. I think actually this was Xenia yesterday rummaging through it. I'm sure it was Xenia because I remember she was like saying, oh, look, she got the Balenciaga shoes. Anyway, so she would, she, I love like when, when Xenia makes an online order, I go through it immediately and she does the same to me. So here we got a pair of shoes and I, they're classic pair of shoes. I really love them, but it's something like I don't have anything like that in my collection. And it's basically the knife. How can I even? It's the knife high heel. What I really love about these shoes is the back. I think it's so beautiful. And I know that in the new collection, they also come in green, which I will make sure to get as well. They say that these run like small kind of, smaller and I'm 39.40. I got them in 40 and they're perfect. Love them. I mean, love them, love them, love them. For sure, I'm keeping them. Uh, try them on. I love how pointy, how sleek, how chic they are. 
And I think Balenciaga is having such a moment. I absolutely love it. And I also noticed that on my Teresa you can get the new collection as well. Not the ones that I wanted maybe yet, but they have them in like gold and silver, not in green basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So when I got them, I also got a pair of leggings to wear with. Actually, I got two different sizes. So I got, these are the wardrobe New York City stirrups. Let me show you. I might have already tried them on. And I got two sizes just to see which one's better. These are extra small. I got extra small and small just because I wasn't sure how the sizing is gonna be but basically they're black stirrups and I think they will be perfect with the shoes that I just got. I tried them both and I'm better in small. I'm usually like French 36, Italian even 38 sometimes, sometimes 40, depends on the style but definitely got small. Like I mean they're just easier to put on. The material of these uh, leggings is much like harder, firmer. It really like like kind of like you know it like sucks you in i will link everything that i'm mentioning below and i will link these below because i think these are such a perfect basic i'm returning the extra small back but i'm definitely keeping the small i think i already wore them i think i will wear them again tonight because i honestly honestly think they are amazing they have two different types of leggings and i think am i mistaken or did i get both or was i just planning to get both how many dust bags do these things arrive with let me check if i got the other leggings too. No, I think I only got the stirrups, but they're really, really, really amazing. Now, one thing that I'm so excited for that I cannot even tell you how excited is this Nancy Doyaka dress. I do think that My Teresa has the best selection on, of Nancy's dresses, tops, etc. I've mentioned the brand before. I wore it before, before many times. You will see it as a try-on. Um, I just love how these dresses sit on the body. I'm size small in most of them, but medium is also fine i think i have something in medium as well honestly i think these dresses are so good are so beautiful and for sure this could be like a perfect new year's eve dress or like a party season festive season dress because i think it's like a classic little mini black dress but it's so different it's so beautiful it has such a like different detailing it's always very like uh sensual with certain details that i think are different to any other things so i got another dress from nancy and it's very unexpected because I'm not a massive fan of red color, but in this haul you will see like, well, two sort of like a burgundy-ish items. Now this is another dress and what size did I get this in? Small. So this is another dress, like I was just, you know, I just need to check the cup kind of how it sits. That's basically the only thing. Love it so much. It's basically like a mini dress. I think this with an oversized blazer is so beautiful. And if you can check out Nancy's dresses on my Teresa, check the link in the description box below. I really think like with that, you will not go wrong. If you want to really be different at a night out and you don't want to wear something that 100% another person is wearing, I would go for Nancy. Plus she also got an award at BFAs. Also my black corset that you guys love you remember it i'll insert the clip here that i wore in la it's from nancy i mean i wear a lot of her stuff and i really think she's amazing i think she is incredible 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 so talented so happy for her i got quite a few party dresses i mean you can tell right I really am getting in the mood for social activities, but I also got this Kate top in burgundy color. Like I said, it's the second, it's like a brownish burgundy color. I love this Kate top very much. I have it in black and white. I also have the new Kate top in black and white as well, but this color is exclusive to my Teresa, so you can only get it there. And I honestly think that since I have so many Kate tops, I can tell you that it's my favorite brand for tops. I don't know what it is. I just find it that like whenever I'm wearing like simple jeans, that top, blazer, or a coat and whatever it's just like you look puts together like her tops are just like so comfortable yet different enough for you to wear them every day and look really cool stylish and like you know i don't know for me like for me kate is amazing it's such an incredible brand and i think this item was also on sale like discounted a little bit so run if you want one as well oh, i forgot about this i got a simple classic white t-shirt i mean it looks massive i hope it's gonna work what size is this it's also from Word and it's size extra small. It's got a bit of shoulder pads and I wanted to wear this with the stirrups that I've shown you with the white Valenciaga heels, this, and like a black oversized blazer over the top. I think that is like a perfect, perfect, perfect look. Or yeah, it's a perfect look like with a big Birkin patty and blazer or like a straight line coat. 
dream outfit, literally, like, I mean, a classic t-shirt. Everybody needs a classic t-shirt, which is well-fitted and beautiful. I think that's the biggest, biggest, biggest staple of a wardrobe. Like, for me, when people ask me, what do you think is the biggest, like, wardrobe staple? I would say white t-shirt. It's so important. And white shirt. Those two pieces, like, for styling, many different pieces, so important. Dresses. We're not done with them, by the way. Attica has, as we all know, great party party mood always and I got two dresses from Attico this one I think will get everybody green with envy because it's so fun it's very short but it's so flattering like first time I wore it I was like oh my god I don't know like does it work well does it fit well but the second time when I tried it on and I was like okay I am obsessed with this dress you will see like it's different you need to like fix it properly when you put it on you can't just like put it on and leave it's something that you like need to kind of make sure that everything is fine and in place but then you have to worry about nothing i think this dress is super cool super cool and for sure will be could also be a dress that i wear for new year's eve what do you think should i wear this one for new year's eve or should i wear the nancy one well you will see them on as well so i really need your opinion which dress from this video because you will see many should i wear for the new year's eve party and there's another one there's a the mugler one this one looked insane 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 on uh, the model on mytrisa.com and and I just thought like Mugler dresses are currently I think the hottest thing like all of my friends are crazy about Mugler they all like are dying for the brand, the jeans, the tops, the blazers, everything is so good and I really hope this dress will be too. I think it's really something. Mine's in size 36. We're almost at the end, almost, because there are two more items and one item is missing. Okay, next item is a pink blazer. Do I need a pink blazer? Probably not. This was, I think, Senia's favorite item from the haul. When she opened the box, she was like, I really like it. And she tried it on. And it's basically, uh, now it looks like nothing, but you will see it on. It's a wardrobe blazer in extra small. And I do think that wardrobe does, like I said, amazing basic pieces. So a pink blazer, I was like, I have one, but it's not this kind of blazer. And also with those black stirrups, white t-shirt, white Balenciagas. I mean, I, I don't even wear pink that much lately, but I do think that it suits me. Color pink, what do you think? I really, really love this color and I really love this blazer and I need your opinion. Just because I kind of got quite away from pink, but I think a pink blazer is a special exemption. Okay, now you have to wait for me to grab the one last item. You won't regret it. It's a party dress. Surprise! And this is the front. It's basically purple. Am I in focus? Let's check this out. It's purple sparkly party season dress and at the back is just black with partly open back. I'm not sure if you can tell. Tried it on, I was like obsessed. So I do think that these two dresses are perfect party dresses. Like officially love them. I think they're amazing and um, yeah. I think I did a great job with this haul, what do you think? Don't respond if you disagree. <laughs> but that's it. That's what I got on my Teresa. Now I'm gonna... I actually ordered another pair of Balenciaga. Like, it's, they're the same. They're the same shoes as the other ones that I've shown you. These are just 40. Yeah. 40 and a half. No, these are 40 and a half because I wasn't sure how much bigger it's gonna be running. I don't know if you can tell. No, you can't tell. But these are 40 and a half and 40 is perfect. So that's what I'm keeping. The other ones I need to return. And now I need to organize all of this. I need to organize my Louis Vuitton samples that need to be returned. And uh, I need to like pack my bags. We're leaving Paris tomorrow. So it's fine. There's still time. Tonight we're though going for a football match that my boyfriend was really, really, really excited for because he loves football and I'm like such a supportive girlfriend to come along. But I'm gonna see my friend at the same time, Jessica, so um, that will be fun. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff to pack. I also think I will have to unbox my Hermes bag in some of the future videos, just don't know which one, but tomorrow we're traveling. We'll see, I'll figure it out. So that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Let me clear this mess now and then I'll see you in a second. I need to also do some work. Basically, I need to sit here, open my laptop, organize everything that I need to do and just get on with it. Okay, just finished all the try-ons and stuff. My boyfriend very openly told me that he's went to sort out my Christmas gift. That's why I had like this time as well to show you bits and bobs. I mean, it's gonna be difficult to hide from me now that I'm here and he's coming home and I know exactly where he's been. It's gonna be a mission unless I behave. The 
thing is, I have so many things here to sort out because it's quite messy now that I was like trying things on, etc. And then I'm gonna go shower, get ready. We are actually going tonight for a football game. I think I told you it's Paris Saint Germain uh, versus Monaco, something like that. Uh, we're going to Parco di Principe, like the. How do you call it in English? Park Princeva. Like I know it in every language except from English. Uh, it's like the stadium uh, with our friends and I think it's gonna be quite a nice night. I just hope I'm not gonna be freezing. I don't have many warm options. I either wear the LV puffer or it's going to be the the row coat. But I think because it's like a sports match and stuff, probably puffer is more suitable. So yeah, I'm gonna like work on my outfit, think what I'm gonna wear, maybe even start packing because tomorrow morning I have a full schedule then I probably have like a coffee meeting slash type of thing and then we're leaving around 3 p.m. I'm actually excited to go to Milan because I have so many things waiting for me there, also so many packages out of this world. So yeah, the day after tomorrow I'm gonna like wake up and head straight uh, to pick them up and I cannot wait to get a nail appointment. I'm gonna also try and book in a massage because I feel like I really need to relax and now we'll start enjoying a little bit of the holiday season. Okay guys, uh, several hours later, I didn't even show you anything. I packed everything up, like from, you know, the things. Now I am, uh, I showered, I did my, redid my makeup. I got dressed into like another black turtle and jeans. Now I'm, at the bottom I'm same as I was. I'm gonna wear the same jacket, bag, everything. So I'm not even gonna bother showing you my outfit. Though maybe you should film my outfit, baby. Will you help me? Of course. Let's do it. So, I don't think it will be very cold. Do you think it will be cold? No be relatively protected i'm hoping from the cold after the game we're gonna go for dinner right we are i'm wearing the margella jeans you guys always ask me about i will link them below these are like probably my favorite jeans wearing the new off-white sneakers we removed the orange thing in the front so now they only have the orange thing in the back i'm wearing my birkin 25 gold with silver heart palladium hardware i haven't actually um unboxed my hermes bag i think i'm gonna do this tomorrow because, yeah, the day is already over. The days are going so fast, we're so exhausted, I almost fell asleep on the sofa. But I think when we're in Milan, things are gonna be a little bit easier. The Paris is just a bit crazy because I wanna see so many of my friends, I wanna do stuff, and there's just not enough. There are not enough hours in the day. I also received something from Vuitton that I haven't had a chance to open, but I will in a second, so. Maybe even tonight when we're back. Who knows? Depends how we feel. Also, I have this from Celine. My boyfriend bought it for me. When did you buy it for me? I forgot. Mm, Was it fashion in Paris week. or in Milan? Paris Fashion Week. I remember just randomly came home one day with it and it's like a little wool headband that keeps you warm in case I need it. Let's go now. <laughs> Guys, we got home, it's 1.38, I wish I was a bit more chirpy, but I am exhausted, absolutely exhausted, literally, yeah, beyond. I don't know why, I feel like I messed up my rhythm a little bit because, you know, like two days ago I was waking up at 7 every day and today I woke up at 10 and I completely blame my boyfriend for that because he's jet lagged, he didn't battle his jet lag properly and now we're not waking up early, right baby? Yeah. What? But it is your fault. Yeah. Uh, on the bright side, I wanted to say something nice about you as well. Thank you. <laughs> what I wanted to say nice about you is that how nice it is. I, I'm always very, very um, fair, even though you disagree. You only agree that I'm fair when I say good stuff. But actually, I'm very fair as a person. And I wanted to say how nice it is to have a partner that, like, represents and talks so nice about your country. I'm so happy every time I hear you speak about Serbia. You always speak so nice about my country. Like tonight we were having dinner, how many of us after the game? Six. 
six of us and uh, it was kind of some important people no so well, to me it was super important because uh, he plays with the Italian national team and I love him no I didn't He's... say who we're going with so because I, I don't want to seem braggy no no it's just um, yeah. say, I didn't say yeah. who was it I'm just saying that it was very important for me because he represents my country so and then uh, you were saying so many nice things about Serbia that you like the food that you like the people that the women are beautiful that the parties are the best that the city is beautiful describing the city the culture the mentality and you know like especially I guess you don't know it when you're not in like multicultural relationships but when you are in multicultural relationships it's so important to have your partner respect and appreciate your country and it means a lot to me so thank you very much but it's all true and I really think that I wasn't trying to please you I was just being I know you were not trying to please me you always speak about Serbia like it's your favorite country in the world but because it, it is amazing the food is amazing the people are super welcoming and to be honest I think that there is a link in between uh, Serbian and Italy because uh, they really appreciate Italians and uh, we really love Serbians so, and the city is amazing. Well, I'm happy to see. And Novi Sad as well, no? And Novi Sad is beautiful because it's super cozy and super sweet. And your mom is there. So, I mean, what not to love? So, yeah, with that little note, I will leave you tonight. I'm dead. I have still work to do. It's 1.41 now and I still have some work to do. And then I'm going to shower, sleep, and I will see you tomorrow morning very early for a change.